praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. I just lift up my hands to you, Lord, in this day. I ask you to continue to help me to minister your word by your Holy Spirit in truth and sobriety in this time we live in because it's just like your grace, your divine nature teaches us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust and to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present time. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God for your holiness and truth today. May you bless the word again to the small remnant of people upon the face of the earth in this hour as we go forth this day to continue to minister your truth and manifest the perversion that's being put forth through men like James Rice and Ralph Stare that he's been witnessing about. And also we want to remember Dennis and Rose Larrabee, the two witchcraft workers behind the perversion of Ralph Stare throughout the years. So we just ask you, Father, to bless this word to the saints, wherever they may be in this hour. I just want to mention again, remember now, God killed Ralph. He is part of the adulterous, abominable bond that there was in <coughs> Kennedy, South Carolina. Remember now, it, in Leviticus I read earlier, it says they both shall be put to death. And that's in God's hands. Oh, you said, God, I didn't say God's going to kill Rose Larry, but he will kill her eventually. When he when when he's when he's accomplished his purpose with her filthiness and lewdness, that'll be the end of it. Just like he'll he'll make an end of of uh, Dennis Larrabee and James Rice and others. That's why I've I've warned Timothy Jones to depart from the evil, be not a partaker of other men's sins, touch not the unclean thing. But he's locked in with his abominable sister, Conchita Burgess. The one who I mentioned earlier uh, in other messages that called Teresa Stare a dog while she was singing at the funeral service for Ralph. What an abominable person that woman has been. But whatever, they may, if God don't deliver Timothy Jones from her and the delusions that he's under, then then that you know, it's sad to see something like that. But it's not sad because I'm going to be on the Lord's side in this battle. They that they, 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 the scripture is clear. It says they that turn the battle to the gate. God's going to give us strength in this time of, time of affliction and time of trouble. That we're we're not still in that time of trouble that never been or ever shall be. All right, we're going to continue on with the uh, legacy of the death of the testators. You see in that picture behind me again, Ralph proclaimed on his gravestone, "I shall return." Not Jesus. He said, I shall return. Yeah, his big eye is returning in the likes of James Rice. Did you hear this? James Rice popping off about, oh, we believe what the prophet said. Let's listen to what James said, though, about the, um, about the thunders. Well, brother, he said he was going to stand before the Pope. He talked about, uh, uh, the, yeah. What did he talk about? Well, I'm going to get to the thing about, I, I'm going to play a couple phone calls before I actually get into the message about the thunders. But listen to what he said here. Wait, what did he talk about? You know, somebody has to say many things. Go, oh, yeah, many things. He talked about many things. Yeah. And I'm the one that right now is telling you what the many things are that Ralph talked about. And not one thing has, has been twisted or perverted from this side. As far as what you're hearing in your ears. He that has, has ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. The Spirit of truth and holiness, not the Spirit of Ralph and James. James and Jambres Ralph, that's what it should be. All right, listen, what, what uh, James says about Ralph now. He talked about many things. Yeah, now I'm talking about them, people. Talked about the thunders. Yes. Mm hmm? Hmm? Yep, he talked about the thunders, and I'm going to get to that here in just a minute. Here's, I just want to go back to what, this is the phone call they played here just recently, and they should be playing this thing over and over and over again because the feast days are only a few weeks away now, people. Pastor Rice, I love you, brother. You bless our soul when you come on after service like that. Hey, 
Pastor Rice, now listen up. He's talking about the coming of Jesus. What Ralph proclaimed now, James Rice. Uh, thank you, brother, for your faithfulness and all the saints. Jesus is coming. Prophet left us at Passover. Mm -hmm. Within six months, we're going to see Jesus' face. His name shall be in our foreheads. Wait a minute. Within six months now, you heard what he said, right? Uh, you believe what Ralph Stair said, you're not going to see Jesus' face. Period. Six months or in six years. It doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to just play a few more phone calls, and then we're going to go to the... Uh, what James Rice talked about the thunders, because I'm going to really focus on the thunders of Revelation, according to Ralph. Brother Stair, thank you for everything you did. Thank you for opening eyes and opening ears. God bless you. May you rest in peace until that day. Thank you. You hear that? He's talking to a dead man. Uh... That's the same exact thing that James Rice said earlier. Oh, the man of God is resting. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not resting. It's just like, like, the, like what Jesus talked about. It. The rich man died and he went to hell. And in, I, in hell he lifted up his eyes in torments. That's where Ralph Steer is right now. He is in hell. Period. Hey, you know what the scripture says clearly in the book of Revelation? See, that's another perversion. Ralph said nobody's in hell. Nobody's in heaven. Well, there are people, the, the people that died in the Lord are in heaven, okay? Uh, they're in what Paul called the third heaven. Jesus said, today shalt thou be with me in where? Paradise. What did Paul say about paradise? Which is the third heaven. What does it say in the book of Revelations? It says, death and hell gave up the dead that were in them. And uh, I, I believe there, uh, that was, what? That's at the end of the book of Revelation. It said, death and hell gave up the dead that were in them. And they were cast into the lake of fire. Pulled out of hell and put into the lake of fire. But anyways, that means that they're, 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 they're just like Jesus said. The rich man died, and in hell he lifted up his eyes. All right, let's get uh, back to these dead men. Now, you heard that guy talking. That man's telling, he's talking to Brother Stair now. A dead man. Yeah, I am Brother Philip. Ah, oh, here's another fella called from over in Europe somewhere. He's talking to Brother Stair now, a dead man. This, these are the kind of phone calls they're playing over the air now, so they can get propagating and, and pulling more money, which is fine. I hope they get ten billion dollars, because Jesus Christ is not coming in a few weeks, people. He's not coming in 2021. But listen to this perversion. You talk about necromancy? Calling from Brooklyn, New York. I've been listening to your program for quite a while. It must be neighbors with best. He's calling from Brooklyn, New York. I thought this was that fellow from Europe. He's calling from Brooklyn, New York. And uh, best was in where? The Bronx? And you are the only one. And all the preachers I've listened to for my 70 years, Brother Spear. You are the only one who is speaking the truth. About the gospel. Uh, another witness of lies. He's the only one speaking the truth about the gospel, and I've been playing the, the things that Ralph has been speaking about the gospel that James says, James Rice and all the, the, the contingent there believe what Ralph said, but yet they won't talk about what Ralph says. Here's another one about a, talking to a dead man. I just wanted to leave a prayer request, Brother Stair. Um, you want to leave a prayer request, Brother Stair? Uh, hey, friend, Ralph Stair is dead. He ain't going to be praying for nobody. God bless you, prophet of the Most High God, Pastor Rice, Pastor Timothy, saints of God everywhere. Oh, that's the same fellow there that called in and said, Hey, we're going to see Jesus six months to... The prophet, uh, Brother Stair, he left us in April. No, God killed him in April. Period. A flood came and took them all away. You, you hear the flood of lies these people believe in their testimony. 
All right, let's get back to to James Rice talking about what? I want to focus on what I was telling you about. Well, brother, he said he was going to stand before the Pope. Right. He talked about uh, uh, the... What did he talk about? I'll tell you. I'm going to start talking about what he talked about. Right. I'm going to show you the many things now. Talked about the thunders. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he talked about the thunders, James. And I'm going to play Ralph's testimony again, and then we'll get right into the thunders. That's one thing that makes a man a prophet. God talks to him. If he says what God says, he's a true prophet. Remember what he just said there? He says what God says, he's a true prophet. Did God reveal the thunders to Ralph there and then kill him so he couldn't reveal the rest of them? No. He's saying things contrary to the very word and spirit of the Almighty God. He says something contrary to what God says. He's a false prophet. That was the seal right there of the legacy of Ralph Gordon Stair. Same with your testimony. You testify what God says, your testimony is true. If you testify something contrary to what God says, then your testimony is a lie. Uh, oh, that, that right there is clear. Ralph's testimony, the testimony of R.G. Stair was a lie, period. Let's listen to some more of his testimony of the thunders of Revelation. I'm the only man that even told you what the thunders were. Yeah, even, even though he actually said at certain times that Dave Koresh was killed by God because he was going to he was going to reveal the thunders and that was only given to Ralph okay uh, and, and in fact I could tell you firsthand when I heard the thunders in 1994 at the beginning of 1994 when I first started listening to Ralph I never heard anybody correlate the scriptures like he did to the thunders as far as the way he talked about the thunders and the word of God but then as I mentioned just recently, how Daniel said he was told to seal up the, the uh, vision in, in uh, Daniel and until the time of the end. But it doesn't say that. It, 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 says, uh, it says, seal up those things which the seven thunders have uttered and write them not. It was never to be revealed. Period. But that's what caught my attention with Ralph was he was talking about current events and things like that and correlating it with... with uh, Applying them to scriptures, but you see, that's how, how subtle Satan is. That's how, uh, like like uh, Paul said, hey, it's no great thing if Satan's ministers transform themselves into the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And they'll they'll apply the word of God, just like Ralph did with the thunders in 1994. And I was like, wow, never heard anybody talk like this. All right, let's get to what Ralph said about. What he said in Ohio in 2008 about the thunders of Revelation. Fourth thunder is going to reveal the man of sin. It'll be done in various ways. It'll reveal the two witnesses, which one of them which will be Elijah, and it'll be Moses. It will reveal that we're here in the last 1,290 days. All right, James, your turn now. Remember now, James. Well, brother, he said he was going to stand before the Pope. He talked about uh, uh, the, what did he talk about? He talked about many things. Many things. Talked about the thunders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you talk about what he said about the thunders, James Rice, or anybody else? You got Holy Ghost boldness there on the farming candidates? Get on the air and talk about what he, Ralph said about the thunders, about the Pope of Rome, about the coming of Jesus Christ. Whatever, you, you're all liars anyways. It don't really matter. Why don't you talk about it then? He talked about the thunders, but he won't say what he talked about. This is what Ralph said about the thunders now. <clears throat> Fourth thunder is going to reveal the man of sin. It'll be done in 
various ways. It'll reveal the two witnesses, which one of them would be Elijah, and it'll be Moses. Now, Ralph always popped off that he was the messenger of the covenant, the Elijah witness, the sign, the prophet, the sign of the prophet Jonas, a bunch of lies. The man just talked about lies after lie. Hey, just like Ralph said, just keep on lying until everything you say is a lie. And that's basically what, the way he ended his life, was a lie. But listen to what he said about the revelation of all these things that the, the fourth thunder was going to do. The fourth thunder is going to reveal the man of sin. All right. It'll be done in various ways. It'll reveal the two witnesses, which one of them which will be Elijah, and it'll be Moses. It will reveal that we're here in the last 1,290 days. What? All right. Did you hear, hear what he said? First, it's going to reveal the man of sin that Satan is going to take possession of. Then it's going to reveal the two witnesses and where we are at in, not before or after, in the last 1,290 days. All right. Let's listen to what Ralph said in early 2015 about a thunder about to be revealed. And so we see the Pope now is going to make a dramatic move. Now, remember what he just said now. Pope's going to make a dramatic move. That he, He's going to Congress, okay, in September of 2015. You want to keep your eyes and ears open. I see a lightning flash. All right. And I hear a thunder roll. All right. Are we going to witness the event that's going to give us the knowledge of the fourth thunder? Now, I just played for you what he said in 2008, what the fourth thunder would be. The man of sin being revealed, who the two witnesses are, and where we are at in the last three and a half years. Have you heard my message on the seven thunders? The seven thunders, I told you, are the seven last utterances of God in bringing about an event to bring us to the end of the world. See, he's a liar. That wasn't what the seven thunders were. John said not to write them. Nobody's got the revelation of what they were actually to be. Period. And my reason for that is that's the way God began everything. See, that's his reasoning for it. I'll get in another time about his reasoning about Satan. Saying that Satan was cast down and destroyed the earth. Before God even created the earth. Before time. Satan was created in time, people. It says, in the day that thou was created, thou was perfect till iniquity was found in thee. Uh, uh, day, not eternity. He said it. He said it, and it was so. He said it, and it was so. He said it, and it was so. And that's the way he's going to end it. He, he said it, and it was so. He told me what the first thunder was, and it What? He told him what the first thunder was, and it was so was so. He told me what the second thunder was, and it was so. It was so. He told me what the third thunder was, and it was so. The message on seven thunders. It was so corrupt, is what he should have said. It's very extensive. It's very uh, purposeful. And if you listen to it and hear what the Spirit's saying, we are on the verge now of the fourth thunder. The Spirit. Hear what the Spirit's saying. That's a lying spirit sent from God, people through the mouth of this last day false prophet of God. And when it happens, when the event happens, Listen now. God will reveal it to me, right. and I will declare it, the fourth thunder okay. has sounded. All right. Do you hear me? Yeah. I will do it. I heard it. I will do it. All right. I will do it. You say you're going to do Ladies it. Ladies gentlemen, the thunders of Revelation, the seven last major events that's going to bring the end of the world. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, don't it? It sounds very intriguing. Just like uh, I'll get to in the economic part about how they added some kind of uh, reverb and all kinds of stuff to make the prophecy in 1987 sound more meaningful, more uh, dramatic, so to speak, from the original prophecy that was put out. But anyways, listen to what he says here. When the fourth one goes, the next three will be very rapid because we have just about three and a half years to fulfill all of this in this hour and at this time. You're listening to The Overcomer.
All right. You listening to the overcomer? Remember now. Remember what I said. When that one goes, then the other three will go very rapidly. Now, he also said that we will be in the last three and a half years, and that Fort Thunder will reveal that, exactly what's going on. Now, listen to this phone call right before he died. This is now talking about, wait, wait, let me play James Rice again. Well, brother, he said he was going to stand before the Pope. Right. He talked about... Uh, he talked about standing before the Pope uh, that you ain't talking about, James. The, what did he talk about? Yeah, see, brain dead, boy. He talked about many things. Amen. Talked about the thunders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's what I've been talking about, what Ralph said about the thunders. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, what Ralph said about the thunders. Listen to this phone call uh, on March the 6th this year. What is thunder number four? Thunder number four was when the Pope came to the United States to, uh, and he spoke to Congress and the Senate and President Obama. Ah, uh, that's been given a long time ago. Wait a minute, do you hear what Ralph said now? Well, that's been given a long time ago. Yeah, six years ago now. But when the fourth one goes, the other three are going to go very rapidly. And the fourth thunder is going to reveal the man of sin, the two witnesses, and where we're at in the last three and a half years. Uh, how could that be if it went in 2015, people? You see, James Rice is a liar, just like his father, the devil. Right. But, Brother Steer, it's still rolling. God bless you, brother. See, I don't mind these kind of stuff. I really don't. But I do mind it. See, I'm waiting for the fifth thunder. Could it have blown? Did you hear what he just said? I don't mind these things, you know. But I'm waiting for the fifth thunder. Could it have blown? Wait a minute, what happened to the fourth one? I mean, the fourth one hasn't even been fulfilled, as far as Ralph said, about the revelation of the man of sin and the witnesses and, the, and, the, and where we're at in time. You talk about a lying devil, people, and that's why James Rice, oh, he talked about many things. You see, he'll, he'll talk like that, but he won't talk about the many things, like this minister of righteousness is doing. God put it in my heart to, I mean, it just, Whatever. When I see things like this, that's why God has me doing what I'm doing, people. Just like uh, eventually I'll get on the uh, COVID and the vaccines and things like that. And they won't be able to go up on YouTube. I'll put them on the finalwitness.com. Because what I'm going to speak about, what, what Satan is putting in place, is, is, is profound in this time we live in. Okay. Um, you heard what Ralph said there, though. He's waiting for the fifth one to blow. Could it have blown already? Uh, just truly amazing, people. Truly amazing. The perversion that's been going on in Kennedy, South Carolina. <laughs> so, all right, well, anyways, I'll just close this out with that because of the fact that it's, uh, I'll just close it out with that just because of the fact that I said I was going to talk about what Ralph said about the Thunders and what James Rice said about the Thunders. Let me close out with James Rice again and then that last phone call with Ralph. This is what James Rice said about the Thunders, and I'll close it out with the phone call of Ralph, and then we'll go on to the next message about what James Rice said, the many things. He talked about many things, the Pope, the Thunders, the economy failing. Well, brother, he said he was going to stand before the Pope. Yeah. He talked about uh, uh, the. What did he talk about? Anything. He talked about many things. Amen. Talked about the thunders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he talked about the thunders. Here's what he said, James, about the thunders. Why don't you all play this over your little Kingdom of Satan broadcast about the great revelation of the thunders. Four thunders going to reveal the man of sin. It'll be done in various ways. It'll reveal the two witnesses, which one of them will be Elijah, and it'll be Moses. It will reveal that we're here in the last 1,290 days. 
What is Sunday number four? Now, just remember, he said that's what the Fort Thunder was going to do. Now, remember what, the, this is the call here just before he died, about on March the 6th, the day that the great prophecy of 2001 was put out. Listen to what this caller says to Ralph about Thunder number four, which is, he said blue, or sounded, six years ago. What is Thunder number four? Thunder number four was when the Pope came to the United States to, and he spoke to Congress and the Senate and President Obama. Ah, that had been given a long time ago. Now, you see how he said that? Ralph said that it has been given a long time ago. Why did he say, no, I never gave that revelation yet? Six years ago? See, I just played to you what he said in 2008 would be the revelation revealed at the time of the Fourth Thunder. Never happened, people, because the man's a liar. He's a lying hypocrite from the word go. Right. But, Brother Stair, it's still rolling. God bless see? you, brother. See, I don't mind this kind of stuff. I really don't. He don't I mind do that. Mind. See, I'm waiting for the fifth thunder. Could have blown? He's waiting for the fifth thunder. So y'all, yeah, just like they're waiting for Jesus to come. They're not waiting for the true Jesus to come. They're waiting for the false Jesus to be manifested. That's all there is to it. James Rice is a liar just like his father, the devil, just like Ralph, his mentor. But it doesn't get any clearer than that, people, about the thunders of revelation and, and the lying words that have been put forth throughout the years about the revelation of the thunders in the book of Revelation. Like I said, God never gave it to anybody. And that could be the reason why God took out Ralph Starr's name out of the book of life because he took away from the prophecy of the book of Revelation. So may God bless this word to your heart again. We're going to go on again with the, uh, and we're going to continue throughout this month with these messages because it's, it's just so profound. How these, how, it's just going to, they're going to have to stack lie upon lie upon lie there with James Rice and, and what they put out at the, uh, the Overcomer broadcast. Just like I, I showed you on their uh, YouTube channel where, uh, where it says this. Look at this. It says here that you can actually see in the tabernacle the prophet of God every Saturday morning preaching about the coming of Jesus Christ. But if you notice up here on the subscribers, it says 666. That was the same number that was on this one back in 2019 when they hit the pinnacle of the Overcomer broadcast on YouTube, 666. But if you read in the small print there, it says this channel has no content, no visit, no, no messages, no videos, no playlists, no nothing. That's because it's been, it, God has turned it into desolation. And then, all, and then you look in the picture. You got the dome of the rock. I mean, what, what's that got to, whatever. I, I just like, I'll tell you, look at the, uh, uh, look at the, uh, message on the Temple Mount. That's profound. I was looking at it again the other day, how the real Temple Mount is below, I mean, the, the real Temple that was destroyed in 70 AD is below the Temple Mount that Satan has put forth for all the world to look at and concern themselves with. And uh, Zion shall be plowed like a field. And the man, that's so profound, the man said, Zion shall be plowed like a field. Micah's talked about it. And and you look in, in, in uh, he showed a picture of, of, of the city of David, which was called Zion, that was plowed. But the, the Temple Mount's never been plowed. And the Temple Mount don't have water like it does down at the Gihon Springs. But anyways, that's just, that's just a, a blessing to know those kind of truths in this time we live in. Because Ralph always said, keep your eyes on the Jerusalem, the Western Wall, because they're gonna, they're not one stone will be thrown down that was left upon another. That already happened. Period. Jesus didn't lie when he said that. When he looked at the temple, he said, hey, you see all these stones? You see all these beautiful buildings? Not one stone is going to be left upon another when Titus came into Jerusalem. And there's other scriptures that talk about Jerusalem being a heap 
And all, I mean, then that's the way the city of David and Zion was for years after Titus came in. And then they built their little fortress up on top, as the man brought out about that, too. Because he said, how could 10,000 people live in a three-acre place? You know, I mean, it's really good. Look at the message on the Temple Mount that was just put up recently. And you should be blessed by the truth and the revelation of what God's doing in this very time we live in. So may God bless the word of your heart here, brothers and sisters. Fear not, little flock. It's our Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, but the kingdom with Jesus coming is not coming in a few weeks as James Rice and all the liars there are putting out through the Overcomer Ministry radio broadcast throughout the world. But it's just like Scripture clearly says. They shall come past land and sea and make one proselyte more a child of hell than twofold more a child of hell than themselves. How do you think they're compassing land and sea? Through the shortwave radio broadcast, compasses land and sea like no other means in the world. Profound how Jesus talked about certain things and how they're being revealed right in the very time that we live in right now. So God bless the word of your hearts. May his fear grip you, just like he always put in my heart. I will put, God said, I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. And that broadcast like the Overcome Ministry is causing people to depart from the true and living God by believing lies. Hey, hold the scriptures clear. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. You got your hope, the blessed hope. It, was, it, it just talks about in Titus, it talks about the grace of God that teaches us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust and to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present time. Why? That he, he might purify, his, purify in themselves a peculiar people, zealous of all good works, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus the Christ. That's what we're here for, people. That's what I'm ministering about, is the true return of Jesus the Christ, not the false return. Or, or the, the, that's like, the, uh, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, or, or whatever. People put it, uh, like I said, Harold Canty put this kind of nonsense out, and it was, a, it was a good thing that he did put it out, but it was still nonsense that he would say that project a day and an hour, or at least a day, when the end of the world and Jesus was coming. No. When Jesus comes back, it will be very clear to the saints of God throughout the world. Nobody's going to be deluded. Nobody's going to be deceived. We are going to know when Jesus is going to return. Period. Then shall appear the sign of the coming of the Lord in heaven, not on earth, as Ralph proclaimed he was for years, as the Son of Man. Why, well, whatever. God bless you. In Jesus' name is my prayer. Amen.